welcome back. For those of you who don't know, my name is Crystal Parker and I had the audacity to step out and start my own businesses, which cured my burnout. And now I teach other nurses how to do the same. So I am back with another video. Go ahead before I forget and subscribe to this channel because I'm trying to get my subscribers up. Uh, go ahead and like and make sure you comment and let me know if you like the video. If there's another video you want me to do, if there's any topics that you're interested in when it comes to self-care, burnout, or entrepreneurship, just let me know and I will give you my take on those things. So today I wanted to talk about how do you create a self-care practice? Um, for those who don't know, my first business was all about self-care, all about helping nurses cure their burnout through self-care products that I created. Um, and I did a lot of work and research on self-care. For two years plus, I was deep diving into self-care. Um, I had a course on it. I had continuing education units on my webinar. So I did a lot of um, work on self-care and burnout. And I found that I kind of cured my burnout through entrepreneurship, but I realized that there are nurses who are still struggling with burnout. So I want to kind of mix that in my channel, um, some tips on self-care and also curing burnout, because I know as nurses are still going through that, especially in this day and age of COVID. So I wanted to talk about how to create a self-care practice because everybody talks about self-care, 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 but how do you really get self-care in? Um, I will admit when things get busy, I have two small children age, ages two and 10 months. And that's why you will see me doing these videos anytime that I can um, because I have two small children and sometimes I get busy and I still, all the work that I've done on self-care, I still lack in self-care um, because when things get busy and overwhelming, it's hard, right? But I do have some tools and things in place that kind of help me on a day-to-day -day basis to remind myself of to get that self-care in. And like I said, self-care is a practice. It's something that takes practice. It takes in it intentionality. Um, and it also takes, for people who with mom brain, it takes reminders. So one thing that I do to create a self-care practice is I have a set time every day and something that I do for my Myself, which helps me to focus on me um, during that time things can be busy but I know that is my self-care practice even if it's for a few moments I know that that time has to I have to spend a little bit of that time focusing on myself and one of those is my skincare routine so I always say skincare is my self-care, especially being in the beauty business. I have affirmations that are on my window, so, or on my mirror in my bathroom. So what I do is when I'm washing my face, I use that time to say my affirmations, um, do a prayer, and just bring that focus back on me if that's the morning time or my nighttime self-care routine. Whenever I get time to do the full 15 minute routine, I try to at least spend 15 minutes. Um, I read my affirmations, so that is like, automatic now it's a hard stop pause I do my affirmations while I'm doing my skincare and that is a way of getting my self-care in even if that's all I do for the day at least it's something um, next is I have reminders on my phone so at 12 noon and 5 p.m. there's a reminder to breathe because a lot of times we forget to breathe and what I find so um, I was gonna say funny but it's really not funny but what I find cool about that is literally at 12 and 5 I can be in it like rushing it's the high points of my day or the low points of my day and I get that alert to breathe and it's just like and, a, and quite a few times it has caught me those times have caught me in when I really need that reminder to breathe so breathing is so important in a self-care and getting in your self-care we need a we need time to just breathe. Sometimes our day gets the best of us, situations get the best of us, our kids get the best of us, our husbands get the best of us, and we just need that reminder to breathe. So please set a reminder on your phone to just breathe. I, rem I remember working in the ER and I had to literally go in the medicine room, take a few moments and breathe. I teach my daughter the same thing. When you're having a fit, just do it right now. Take three deep breaths. I'll take them with you, okay? that fast that's all you have to do and it brings it back it reels things in when that patient's getting on your nerves when management is getting on your nerves when you take in the last admit you're going to take for the day because you've had enough take that deep breath and I promise you it'll make you feel better 
Um, okay, so let's go through. So you want to set a time every day that is time for yourself, even if it's in the shower, but what you wanna make sure you do, that don't just take a mindless shower. I know when we're in the shower, usually our thoughts are going, I think of like the most brilliant business ideas when I'm in the shower, um, but take some of that shower time and do something for yourself. Repeat affirmations, say a prayer, um, think to yourself what you did great in that day or don't just think about like all the things you, that you have to do when you're taking a shower or doing your self care, care routine. Turn that into something, a time that you can take out for yourself and have a moment to yourself. Um, next, you wanna set reminders to remember to breathe. Um, and at the, that time you can center yourself and get back to being the great you that you are because sometimes your day can get the best of you. Um, and then lastly, you want to schedule time on your calendar that you're going to do something for yourself and make it a non-negotiable. So if you know that um, you have every Monday off, take one of those Mondays within the month and schedule something for yourself. If that's a massage, if that's getting your nails done, um, if that's getting your hair done, if that's taking a walk in the park, if that's sitting in the car, schedule it. I need you guys to know like I said, self-care is a practice and we have to schedule it. We schedule practice, right? We schedule meetings, we have to schedule self-care. So make sure you are scheduling self-care. And don't just say, yeah, yeah, watch this video and say, yeah, yeah, that was good. I should probably do that and never do anything with it. Cause that's our problem a lot of times. We know all the things to do, right? But we don't do them. So do it now, set a reminder for yourself right now, go right now to your phone and set a reminder at 12 and five to breathe schedule in just do it for this next month going forward schedule one day that you can do something for yourself and also don't do something that you normally always do right so if you get your nails done every two weeks don't use that but i'm talking about people who don't get their nails done and maybe you want a manicure or pedicure just to manicure things do that don't do something you always do do something new for yourself and pick something every month if it's going to a new restaurant by yourself schedule that in and do it and don't tell me you don't have time because it's a whole 30 days i'm sure you have an hour or two to dedicate to yourself once during the month um, and then you are going to see I forgot that fast that's why I need reminders um, and then you're going to pick something that you do every day but attach that with a self-care practice that you can do start there start small let me know how it goes um, and again like this video comment if you have any self-care tips um, or tricks or how you fought your burnout go ahead and comment below because then maybe I could do a video expounding on that if I had the same thing happen to me um, so yeah go ahead and like and comment and I thank you for watching and I'll see you soon